students. I am Sifu Funky Monkey. Welcome to my Dojo of Love. Yes, today's movie, if you hadn't already guessed, is a martial arts film. A genre, I must confess, that I don't know that much about. Animation, on the other hand, is more my forte. And so we arrive at today's subject, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Released in 2008, Kung Fu Panda is the tale of Po, an unlikely heir to the title of Dragon Warrior and his quest to earn this title in order to defend his home from the villainous Tai Lung. Generally regarded as one of the better movies from the DreamWorks animation stable, this movie was even nominated for an Oscar, which then went to War Lee. But we'll open that barrel of monkeys another time. For now though, strap on your fist pads and bow to your partner. This is Kung Fu Panda. This shall be our hero, for fate will make him indestructible. His name, Po. Enough talk. Let's fight. Get up. You'll be late for work. What? In reality, our hero is a noodle shop boy with overarching dreams. Kind of reminds me of me. <laughs> make of that what you will. But far away. In the Jade Palace, all is not well. Ugwe, Grand Master of the Dojo, has had a vision. Tai Lung will return the Dragon Scroll. It is time. And so a great tournament is held that the Dragon Warrior will be chosen. Whoa! Stairs! Poe finally reaches the top but seconds too late. Oh no! Never knowingly defeated, our hero attempts to view the tournament anyway. Uh -oh. Let's get out! The universe has brought us the Dragon Warrior! What? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Dragon Warrior is a panda. Harry Hill was unavailable for comment. The messenger reaches the prison where Tai Lung is held. And in his pride, the head guard gives his prisoner the means to escape. <laughs> Back at the temple, Poe is in full geek out about the trinkets on display. And we meet Master Shifu who plans a trial by fire for our portly panda protagonist pal. That night, Tigris has some harsh words for our hero. For who we are and what we do, you will be gone. And Grandmaster Ugwe, some wise ones. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. Tai Lung breaks his bonds and escapes. Oh, so an Iron Man. Dr. Yinsen cops it to a handful of insurgents, but. In this film, a hundred plus Rhino Guards doesn't even phase Tai Lung? <sighs> Hollywood sure loves its villains. After another hard day of training, the true path to victory is to find your we learn the truth of Tai Lung.
Master Shifu was too proud of his adoptive son. He did not see the monster he was creating. But Grandmaster Ugwe saw it. And he denied Tai Lung the dragon scroll. And when he tried to take the scroll by force, Grandmaster Ugwe ladeth the smacketh down. All of which seems, in my opinion at least, to be a cautionary tale for pushy parents. Take note. And Grandmaster Ugwe imparts his final lesson. Ugwe's a bit long-winded here, but the heart of the message is, fate, or narrative causality in this case, might not always give you what you want, but it will always give you what you need. But Tai Lung is coming! Much to Poe's dismay. How are you gonna change this into the Dragon Warrior? I don't know. The next morning, Poe's true strength is revealed. Yes, folks, the Tao of the Panda is food. Obvious, really. And so, at last, the training of Poe begins. The Furious Five square off against Tai Lung. But the would-be Dragon Warrior is not so easily defeated. Shifu taught you well, but he didn't teach you everything. No need to worry folks, they're not dead. Just incapacitated. That Dim Mac is crazy stuff. Well, I remember this one time I had to go up against the Dim Mac Master. And so the moment of destiny comes, and Poe reads the Sacred Dragon Scroll. It's blank. What? <gasps> blank? Is there no hope for the Valley of Peace? The decision is made to evacuate the valley, but in the madness, Poe's father imparts the secret ingredient upon his son. Nothing. To make something special, you just have to believe it's special. Two things come from a chicken's backside. Eggs and excrement. Have you figured it out yet? And so the stage is set for our finale. Shifu prepares to battle, and quite possibly be defeated by Tai Lung. But Po intervenes! <sighs> a thrilling battle for the scroll follows. <laughs> Tai Lung finally gets his paws on the Dragon Scroll. Is mine. But as we already know, there is no secret ingredient. Poe finishes the fight. Skadoosh. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I present Poe, the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> So that was Kung Fu Panda. And you know something? I'm gonna put this into the House of Love. This movie works on so many levels. It's full of dynamic, hyper-fluid Kung Fu action, meaning and metaphor, flat-out comedy, and real pathos. It's heartbreaking to see that a master's pride drove his student to such terrible lengths. And the action sequences are suspenseful, heart-pounding, and even funny at times. The casting is spot on. Jack Black's panda sounds every inch the Kung Fu fanboy. Dustin Hoffman's Master Shifu is just the right amount of grumpy. And Angelina Jolie's Tigress is a force to be reckoned with. And while some might argue that the COD philosophy is hokey and overblown, and the traditionally animated scenes at the beginning and end show that this movie might have been just as good drawn as CG'd, I still challenge you to actively hate this movie. 
Kung Fu Panda is a chop socky classic that all the family can enjoy. And you don't even have to be wary of the sequel. But that lesson will have to wait for another day, my students. This day, I thank you for joining me, and invite you to join me next week as we continue on towards more fun and frolics. Shema Jola, Chong Qin.